So you're planning your trip to Alaska. You got the flight. You got lodging fees, rental car, food. You don't want to add to the list a really expensive guide. If that sounds like you, you're in the right place. I'm Kevin Rapcook Fishing, and I'm going to give you the guide on fishing Alaska without a guide, without a boat, and without a clue. Let's go. This video is going to focus on fishing within three to four hours of Anchorage, included fisheries that are much closer to Anchorage and within Anchorage itself. To start, we're going to be at the Kenai River. The Kenai River is one of the most famous rivers for salmon fishing in the world. We are going to head to Soldatna, which has great access and fishing on the Kenai River. Summer fishing in Soldatna will have major salmon runs. So you'll want a medium to heavy spinning rod or an eight weight or larger fly fishing rod. For salmon, you want streamers, attractant flies, and or beads to be successful. There we go. There we go guys, got one. I do. Yeah, if you can help me, yeah. I could use help. Yeah, thanks, man. Oh, it's a big one, right? Yep. Damn. Nice one, Woo! All right. That's a nice one. Thanks, brother. No, it's not. No, I'm just getting it on TV. Next up, we'll move to the Russian River, a famous river that flows into the Kenai River. In early summer, it boasts an epic sockeye salmon run where you'll want a medium to heavy spinning rod or an eight weight or greater fly rod 20 to 30 pound fluorocarbon test after the salmon runs and into fall it has awesome trout and dolly varden fishing you want a six weight fly rod four to ten pound leader and tippet strength
Another one, guys. Next up, we're going to head south and west towards Anchor Point and Homer, Alaska. In the summer, it has salmon runs like most of Alaska, and in late summer and fall, it boasts an incredible steelhead run, as well as having awesome rainbow and Dolly Varden fishing. When fishing for rainbow trout and Dolly Varden in Alaska, especially after salmon runs, flesh flies, egg patterns, and bead patterns are extremely successful, as the rainbow trout, Dolly Varden, and other non-salmon species are feasting on the dying salmon, the flesh coming off them, and the eggs that they laid during summer. Ooh. Ooh, I think that's a good fish right there. That's a pretty good fish right there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Don't wanna lose him. Might be our new best fish of the day. Oh yeah, that's a big fish. Hey guys, check that out. Wow. I mean, look at the teeth on that guy. Next up, we're going to visit a really cool town called Whittier, Alaska. It's not too far from Anchorage, and even if you're not fishing, it's an awesome place to check out. If you are going to fish, bring an 8-weight fly rod, woolly buggers, and or pink steelhead jigs to get into a pretty awesome pink salmon run in July. Nice! Come on to take it! There we go guys, a real eat. A real bite. A pink salmon. Barely in the lip. These are humpies. Pretty cool. Got him. Oh, that's a that's a good size one. For, dang, guys, that's a cool fish. Pink salmon right there. All right. And just put on a woolly bugger. Kind of a woolly bugger with some flash on it. Look at that fish, guys. Pretty gnarly looking, huh? Next up, we're going to visit Bird Creek, which is only about 30 minutes south of Anchorage. Bird Creek is a famous creek that drains into Cook Inlet and boasts some awesome pink salmon and silver salmon runs especially in July. 
Bringer 8 weight fly rod, 20 pound test fluorocarbon, attractant flies, streamers, pink jigs, and when you catch a fish, hold on for the ride. It's a pink guys. Nice on the side of the mouth. Healthy pink right there, guys. There you go. Next up. We're just going to stay in Anchorage itself. With a lot of local lakes and ponds that are stocked with salmon and rainbow trout, it can be a blast. There's also Campbell Creek, Ship Creek, Chester Creek, and more, which all have salmon runs, rainbow trout fishing, and Dolly Varden. You'll have a good time fishing just in Anchorage. Got one, guys. Pretty little Dolly Varden right there, guys. Nice. Big old salmon there, guys. There he goes. All right, everybody. To finish off, one of my favorite areas of Alaska to fish. They are the creeks and rivers that come off of the Parks Highway between Anchorage as you work your way up to Denali National Park. These rivers and creeks boast awesome salmon fishing in the summer, but even better, incredible rainbow trout and arctic grayling fishing in the summer and in the fall. You'll want to use streamers, normal trout flies, flesh flies, beads, egg patterns. These fish are hungry and ready to battle. You'll love this part of Alaska fishing. Got him. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Nance! Nance! Big fish! Oh yeah guys, that's good stuff right there. Look at that guys. Got him, guys. Oh, that's a nice fish, guys. Look at that. Wow. That is a beauty. Oh, guys. Beautiful. Mm. 
Look at that. There he goes. Nice. He's barely hooked. So again, guys, this is, I'm not good at tying flies. I just knew up here in Alaska at this time of year, I'd need some weight and I'd want some pink and red and colors to match salmon flesh and salmon eggs and minnows. So that's what's been doing the work. another fish guys <laughs> guys I was just I just had the lure hanging out in the water and I caught another fish guys I should sell these flies Yeah, it is. guys another nice one got one guys on a dry fly here nice Looks like it might be a grayling it's cool Came up and took that dry fly. Oh yeah, that's a nice size grayling too. So I'm surfacing for some dry, so put on this little hopper right here. Beautiful grayling right there, guys. Not a bad size one. Oh, there he goes. Another one, guys. Oh, yeah, a bit smaller on this one. All right, everybody, hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave some questions or comments if you have any. And if you appreciated the content, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I have tons of fishing content, especially in Alaska, Montana, Utah, and Arizona. Hey everybody, take care. This is Kevin Rapcook Fishing. Peace out.